come support me on Patreon. Yay! Yay! Well, hello there, you guys. My name's Mikey, and welcome back round mine for another tutorial. All right, this is going to be the third in our instalment of how to draw boobs, or more importantly, how to draw anime manga style boobs. And I'll explain some really important differences in that in just a moment. For those of you who've recently joined the channel, yeah, hello, welcome. Lovely having you along. Um, but do be aware, we've already done a part one and a part two, small boobs and medium boobs. Um, so if it seems like I'm just diving into some really extreme circles and shapes uh, we have actually built our way up get in the tutorials playlist and check them out because it'll be really good grounding and especially in the second tutorial we cover a lot about mass and shape which we're going to kind of go over very very quickly in this one because we need to talk about some other things when it comes to um, mega boobs basically first thing to get out of the way um, is that I'm actually a little bit poorly at the moment I'm a bit bunged up not very massively well so if I sound like an absolute weirdo or I'm just like <laughs> and then what we're gonna draw next is like a nice boob over here oh, some sweet boob if I actually sound like that at any point during the tutorial I promise I'm not touching myself I'm just bunged up basically somebody came back from like a holiday in Dubai or something at work and they brought a cold with them and they've like decimated everyone in the office I've gotten away lucky if anything get yourself some paper at home guys Follow along with these tutorials if you can. I want you all to learn some sick drawing skills. Super cheap mechanical HB 2B-ish pencil. I bought a really big pack. I bought two of these and they've lasted the most part of the year. You don't need excellent kit to learn to draw. Um, if you're anything like me and you're a bit of a dickhead sometimes, I make mistakes. So a rubber never helps. And you can always cut it down to make a really sharp rubbing edge. But watch your fingers, kids. And even I keep forgetting, but get yourself another piece of paper and use this to rest your hand on so that when you're drawing like so here's an imitation of someone drawing then uh, you're not going to be getting all the greases from your hands smudged all over your artwork that is big news well we need to kind of dive straight in these tutorials always end up being really really long um with really big boobs um you might actually think from sort of the style that i like to draw anime and manga myself and the way that i do tutorials you might think that i think Big boobs are great. Well, I think big boobs are bloody lovely, but massive extra large boobs, actually. I'm not actually, believe it or not, a fan of them uh, in a day-to-day -day sort of manga situation. What I'm doing here, everyone as well, is I'm going to be drawing a torso in sort of profile. In the other couple of tutorials, we didn't cover a perfectly profiled boob, so I'm going to try to get one in here. And if you guys don't understand these rough torso shapes that I'm doing, then that means you need to go and watch my how to draw torsos tutorial instead. Get out of the way. Just going to get a person happening for reference. I say a person, it's going to be a woman. <laughs> oh yeah, and there's going to be loads of sniffling in this episode as well. And if it looks like it jump cuts, it's probably because I had to pause it and then go and blow my nose or something horrific. Oh man, the joys of just being slightly not quite so well. This is going to be the grimmest tutorial I've ever come across. Now, oh god, faces. I forget. Faces in silhouette are always a freaking nightmare profile something like that and then let's have a mouth like so we'll come back to it anyway i'm just making a rough frame of a person so we're going to put an actual character on top of these maybe in a time lapse bit in the end um i'm just drawing this all up from scratch because you guys like it when i start with an empty sheet of paper and then you just get to kind of keep pace at your own discretion so Draw along with me and get yourself a character in profile, standing up or sitting up straight. Let's, I mean, this isn't a hand tutorial, so I'm not going to bother about other parts of the body. Something like so. Yeah, that'll do. Great. And what I was getting at is that um, I'm not a massive, massive fan of extra, extra large boobs for a couple of reasons. Um, I find that... In real life, um, well, in the anime side of things, like this isn't a how to draw like hentai thing. This is just how to draw stuff that does need to be learned, like uh, anime boobs. And you get a lot of anime shows that are kind of etchy and fan service where they just draw massive, massive boobies. And it kind of like over sexualizes it and it doesn't look right. And sometimes they draw them on kind of youngish characters as well, which is a little bit creepy, but I'm not going anywhere near that topic. Let's just have a look through the camera phone. Is that in focus? Let's press this little button here. Yes, yes indeed. So 
first things first, I'm going to try to cover everything I need to talk about as this tutorial goes on. But when it comes to drawing a mahoosive booth on the side, um, you need to remember that these are kind of big, balloony, kind of weighty, watery bags. We're going to be talking about natural boobs, which means they're still going to be very, very soft and very fleshy. And they're actually um, a hassle more than a benefit when they get really, really big. So we're going to kind of try to express that with extra large ones. They don't just kind of hang right on the front of the chest. We're not going to draw them from here, but they're actually going to be sort of hanging from right at the point where the chest tucks into the shoulder around about here and further around the side of the chest as well because these things are just really kind of coming out to town now i'm sort of doing um maybe like e cup f cup upwards and in real life they're still catered for some girls might need to go to specialist bra shops and stuff and get extra support um, and in anime it almost tries to make it really common um but it's not and uh it's a real pain in the ass like these girls, they're not going to be doing high-end gymnastics um, without sort of, you know, a lot more help or a lot more effort and dedication that girls with smaller chests and more athletic frames might need. So what I'm kind of doing here um, has sometimes been termed, and this is a kind of a rude, I think, term, um, so I don't mean it like really casually, but torpedo titties. And what I'm saying here is that the nipple point is going to be uh, kind of still aiming away from the back of the spine. That's how you kind of get an idea of where these things are going to go. So if you imagine an imaginary line right here, right up towards the back, and then just go through the mass of the boob, through the center mass of this boob, which is around about there, then it's just going to go all the way through. Nipple's going to be around about here. These things aren't going to be pert or pointing upwards or having any weird angles. And you'll notice that it's kind of pulling down here, and yet it's still having its own kind of curve here as well. Maybe not quite as lemon-like as this one is, but has this kind of shape and form. You have to imagine a water bloom that's sort of waiting and expanding down, and it's expanding down around the frame of the chest, as well as otherwise just coming down thanks to the powers of gravity itself. Something like this. Now, this is sort of... Um, super massive and maybe like sound super great oh i've just reminded myself of a muse song super massive black hole <laughs> nothing to do with this tutorial um but in real life basically if you know a girl who's got a really really um big boobs a really big chest and the reason i'm not saying breasts by the way is that breasts in art and how they're used um are amazing things um but i'm not drawing realistic stuff i'm drawing anime here and it's easier to say boobs because it helps get across the fact that they're not real. So get over yourself. And also they're really cartoon like they have different qualities that just don't exist in real life, such as the fact that people with them are often wielding samurai swords and leaping from building to building and stuff like that. If you uh, watch the sort of uh, rubbish that I wash, but actually love it as well. <laughs> oh, big sniffle. Oh, man, <laughs> I'm so short of breath and I'm poorly. Um, but yeah, if you know a girl who's really, really chesty, ask her exactly how happy she is from day to day of that sort of stuff. Ask her how much her back aches and ask her how much she doesn't appreciate being stared at whenever she goes out on the bus or something like that. And ask her how much difficulty she has getting appropriate support bras and things. Because for real life, it's, um, it's a menace. But anyway, here's an idea of what I wanted to get across. You're starting from the top of the shoulder around where the collarbone is and you're creating a line that just comes down at an angle here. It doesn't go straight down does bulge a little bit at the top and then instead of just kind of coming underneath and stopping at the rib cage it's going to bulge round a little bit as well if it hasn't got the right support so it's going to come right round there's going to be a flap of skin here where the boob sort of still comes over the side of the chest hope that is clear on the camera phone yes yes it is so let's draw another character and i want to in this instance talk about how um, they are, as well as being big, the natural ones, they're still really soft. And what I'm talking about here is that um, a natural kind of boob shape, even when it's being sort of uh, supported in a bra, for example, uh, if there's kind of like a material that cuts into it, or let's say we'll do like a bikini, only because it's a little bit more extreme and it will really show the point that I'm trying to make. If the material cuts into the boob, you're not just dealing with like one big 
lips or one big circular shape you're going to end up with something where um, there's lots of kind of bulges and this is really important to kind of show that um, a boob shape itself is kind of being uh, sort of cut into, bitten into almost by material. Oh, I completely lost the uh, train of my thought there. Let's just draw some random anime face. Let's see. Let's give it a little bit of a neck like so. And uh, I do recommend everybody. Um, oh my God, I've just realised what I've done. <laughs> Look at this here. Oh my God. Ignore that. You didn't see that, right? It's just you and me. If this was on the, uh, an episode of Draw with Mikey, I'd leave that ear up there because I really don't care. It's a really casual drawing session. But that was not an appropriate place to put an ear, Mikey. You need to get over that. Sweet. Okay, so um, let's give this character some color burns like so. And shoulder's going to be kind of up here. And the point is, is that I'm trying to get in a frame. I've got a rough idea of what I want to draw for this episode. But it means I've got to fit characters quite close together to get the point across. So here's our character with their chest, and then maybe they're going to go down like so. Yeah, yeah, that'll do. That'll do indeed. That'll do, pig. That'll do. That's going to be an arm, by the way, coming down there. So when it comes to the uh, extra large lot, the XLs, um, you can still start with some of the basic rules that we talked about in other How to Draw Boob episodes, such as get an imaginary line across the chest that goes just about where the bottom of the shoulder circles are. So here's your kind of boob drawing zone. But um, we're going to have to really kind of just overstate the circles in this instance. It's going to be um, some real silly billy stuff, everybody. Just rehusive. So um, right from under this shoulder area, I'm going to just start to draw in a really large extra extra XL boob. This is probably a good point to say that I mentioned it before, but you need to know about um, bra sizes and knowledge, everybody. When you hear things on a bra like, oh, she's a 38E um, or a 40F, what that's actually telling you is that the number is a measurement that goes around the waist, like, sorry, around the rib cage, I should say, the chest. It's nothing to do with how big the boob is. It's all about how long the straps for the bra might be all the way around. And then the letters, that indicates how much mass or how much boob there's actually going on. So if you hear like a really um, big number, like she's a 65A, then it's a girl with a really, really big frame, really big chest, but not actually much um, in terms of boobs. Nothing wrong with it at all. Everyone's a different shape. And if you hear like a girl that's, I don't know, like a 36E, then you're probably thinking about a manga anime character, like a really small chest or frame um, and with silly boobage. Silly, everybody. So yeah, um, again, that's one of the reasons why I don't think massive, massive boobs, like actually silly big, are a great thing. He says, whilst he draws some of the biggest boobs he's ever drawn in his life. Um, and the other reason um, is a bit more... Um, what's the word? Like, well, not like an anime reviewer, but... I find that if you draw an anime character with massive, massive boobs, um, it can often affect the character development. Now, if you wanted to draw like a one-off picture and you wanted a really fun, exciting character that grabs people's attention, and that's part of what we have to acknowledge here, by the way, is that um, if you're going to be learning to draw anime girls, just make sure this is still in focus. Let's press this camera focus button. Good. Is that, has that been moving ever so subtly the entire tutorial? Let's put that there. Scream at the camera, everybody, if um, uh, this whole thing moves and falls about. As it's, as you know, I've got a really rough setup plan here. Um, what am I getting at? Oh, yeah, so I find that um, the characters, they tend to be, I don't know how to put it, simplified. If you draw a one-off character that's got really massive boobs, um, that can look great. But one of the main things people are going to say is that's the character of really, really big boobs. And then what you might do if you're um, writing a story or creating your own character as an artist is you might say, well, seeing as I've got that covered, let's give her um, another interesting thing. Like she'll be a really dominant character or she'll be really fun or she'll have a special skill or a power. And then that'll be it. So you'll think I've covered two topics. She's got massive boobs and um, she's like a mage or something. That's that character done. And then that character will end up in a lot of sadly uh, common manga stories and so on with no character development, no other interesting things about them at all.
because um, the artist might think they've covered everything you want to know about this sort of uh, person. And that doesn't make for a fun story. Although it's rare that I kind of actually have opinions on manga and stories. This is more just a tutorial on how to draw. So I will get back to the topic of just how to draw characters. And you can worry about um, who they're going to be as people. Uh, and as a comparison to that, I mean that you might draw a character that doesn't have massive boobs. It's just a, a sort of a more average size character. And then more effort and thought goes into who that character is as a person, what they have as plot development and so on. So that's what I'm kind of complaining about there. So basically, um, I'm trying my best to make it sound like I'm not amazed by massive boobs. I mean, they are freaking awesome. There's no two ways about it. Um, but remember, this is a tutorial where I'm trying to give you the tools you need to draw anime um, yourselves. And when it comes to drawing female anime characters, you could be really squeamish and be like, oh, I can't believe it. There's a guy and he's teaching other people how to draw boobs. That's really pervy. Well, you know what? If you think it's weird that I'm able to draw boobs and I'm a man, then maybe you're just sexist. Get over it. Like, I'm not going to pretend that boobs don't exist in real life. And I'm not going to pretend when we're drawing anime that no one's ever drawn anime boobs because they're on anime characters. If you don't want to learn to draw it, that's fine. But what you're going to do is you're going to be missing... Um, a lot of skills and techniques and you're just going to be um, a slightly weaker um, mangaka or anime drawer as a result so learn the skills whether you want to use them or not I really don't mind draw characters that are flat chested that's cool I really it's really fun by me as long as you've got an interesting manga I'll read it um, but if you're gonna not draw something because you've got a hang up about it you're not gonna massively help yourself out in life so anyway back to the point um, what I want to explain here is that I've got an inappropriately small bikini on this character with inappropriately large uh, boobs. And I need to explain that these boobs are not solid circles. These are um, big masses of flesh and they're going to be shaped by their constraints. So if we start to just pop this bikini line in a little bit more heavily with the old pencil like so. And don't worry, I'll go into a time lapse at the end and I will turn these into vaguely character-ish looking characters so let's get that bikini line like your oh more big sniffles everybody are you guys all well at home i bloody hope so and then this bikini as well it's gonna go up here maybe it's gonna pull right back there it's gonna come down around half like so so what i'm not doing is following and i hope again is that clear yeah, that's well clear. Oh man, I've just seen it's over 15 minutes of tutorial already. Thank you so much, you guys, for keeping pace with all this sort of stuff. Um, what I'm going to do is make this almost its own bulging circle shape because there's going to be flesh kind of trapped into this bikini material and it's going to pop out in a circle of its own. If you've ever... Hmm. <laughs> this sounds really weird. If you've ever seen those pictures where they like get like a really fat puppy and not cruelly but like they'll wrap it with loads of ribbon or like loads of um shoelace and it's all like it's still really cute but it's all like lumpy and bulgy that's kind of what i'm getting at um which maybe that is appropriate because another term for boobs are puppies look at them puppies but again this is just how to draw this isn't how to be a pervert now what i'm going to do then here as such because the string's cutting in is i'm actually not following this line but making a brand new line here where the boobs are getting a bit of bulge. Let's use this eraser to get rid of line A so that it's superseded by line B. And this is what I'm getting at. It's all got to be sort of held together and sort of amassed up, which means under here there's a bit more slippage and there's a bit of gravity. So this is going to just drop down a little bit more, if anything. Boobs escaping underneath. The under boob is free, ruling the world quietly in the background. Now, somebody said in the comments, um, I think of one of the other How to Draw Boob videos, that they were a very chesty girl themselves. And that at the end of the day, they were just bags of fat. And then she further said, but they're also apparently um, bags full of men's dreams and stuff like that. I'm not sure if I said that in a video or if she came up with herself, but, oh man, that made me chuckle. And then I think some other people were doing their best to uh, mack onto her in the comments, which was awkward. Let's just get all of that on and up and in and then this one around here as well get to be a bit safer following 
this line. So I'm just going to bring that down and around like so. And you'll notice when it comes to drawing curves, especially curves away from the natural direction of a hand, I'm just drawing in lots of gentle line movements. I'm not drawing like one solid single line. Lovely stuff. So I hope this is kind of getting across to you guys. When material bites in, it bites into the flesh and it actually goes in. So you've got to get used to drawing organic shapes that sort of bulge and pop in various areas. It's going to be a similar situation down here as well. If I just have this line's going to come straight down because it's actually flat against the chest. Then it's going to drop off a little and then come up a little like so. Then where it's caught by this material here, this is where this material's bulging out. And then this material around here as well is kind of keeping everything together from the top. So we'll have a line of where this is coming in. This line is bulging a bit at the top here. And the actual line of the bikini strap is just coming off the other side like so. <laughs> So I hope that kind of gets the idea across as well. There's the chest and tummy area. Oh, and by the way, I'm drawing this really stereotypical thing where um, anime characters that have massive boobs are somehow still in like really weird sporting good shape where all their body fat appears to be the boob and they don't have a natural amount of body fat on the rest of their frames. I'm more than aware that that's not real life. Um, but I have done a couple tutorials on how to draw uh, bigger characters with um, big ass and thighs and arms and so on, chunkier girls, because um, you need to learn to draw all styles. You can't just limit yourself. So get into tutorials as well if you ever want to check out them. Okay, cool. So we've covered two of the main points. That just leaves a couple other bits. Um, one, I want to really express um, how annoying extra large boobs are for uh, larger characters, okay? They're not just running around casually and just jumping up and down on things. And again, when we start talking about really, really big boobs, we're having a, a challenge about the physics of them and where they rest on things. If you're drawing a character who's got... Um, I'm going to go quite high up the page this time around, by the way. If you're drawing a character who's got um, really, really uh, big chest, then they can't just be, you know, slipping on a shirt and jumping on the ceiling and running around and transforming to animals. I don't know what I'm getting at here. But basically, that character, who's lived with big boobs for most of their life, I would dare suggest, um, is going to have to act accordingly. It's a bit of a clumsy, annoying thing for them. They might brush past people. It's weird and awkward. They um, are going to have just trouble containing the situation. And what I'm getting here, what I'm getting at here, is that we need to uh, have a go at expressing a situation that needs containing. Oh my goodness, this does sound creepy. So, again, here's like a top shoulder zone area. Here's the top of the chest, and we're going to just draw in some uh, crazy blighters. Now, I want to get across that you've got to carry this responsibility, so to speak, by literally, um, you won't have a character who can cross her arms over her chest in exactly the same manner that another character might. So let's pop some arms down here, really roughly, they're not going to show as much anyway. Let's get an arm here, an arm here, excuse me, sniffling away, and then we'll have like a hand round about here. It's not a hand tutorial, get over it, it's a mess. And then up on this side as well, have like a hand here that's going to be sort of trying to contain the situation. So maybe like that. Now, what I'm talking about here is that, again, this is all going to be like a difficult to contain massive water balloon. If you've ever seen somebody try to pick up an extra, extra large water balloon that's like, you know, really one of those massive type things, it's a freaking nightmare to handle and manage. It's all flattening out and bulging all over the place and slipping through your hands. And that, again, is going to be part of a situation when you're drawing extra, extra large Mahusa boobies. Oh, and that's another thing I wanted just to highlight. I've mentioned this before, but it's always worth talking about again, is that um, this is a... So let's have... You know, I'm going to have to obviously draw some clothes on this. This is a uh, extra large, I've sort of called it, um, boobies tutorial. But really, 
if we're talking about real life, the last one I did, the how to draw big boobs, they were in fact in real life super super large. These are just silly billies. Um, oh, I'm not dis uh, dissing any girl who's got boobs this big, you know, power to you. Um, but there's another thing about anime which um, I don't really care one way or the other, but I am aware it's completely distorted, like culturally, how we understand boob sizes. If you grow up with a lot of anime, you need to realise that that is not a real interpretation whatsoever of um, real life boobs. So these are just really crazy large. The big boob, big boob tutorial covers what would be in real life massive boobs. And my small boob tutorial um, actually has boobs in there which are of a medium nature as well, if we're talking about real life. But in anime terms, because anime is distorted um, the whole thing quite a lot, they somehow count as small. Okay, so before I dive into tidying up these boobs and expressing what I want to talk about here. I have to make a hand here. Don't judge me. Let's just get a finger here. Do 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 do. Let's just get a finger there. Do 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 do. Mm, these fingers are gonna look weird. Let's just get another finger there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Normally I like to turn a sheet of paper all the time when I'm drawing. I'm trying to keep this still for you guys so that you can obviously focus on the topic at hand and what that means is every now and then I'm drawing a line not the best natural or maybe I can just lean myself around not the best natural angle in the world do bear with don't worry I'll tidy it up anyway in the time lapse and then fingers gonna have to come out here because she's trying to deal with this it's a freaking nightmares boobs spilling out like so yeah so it's a difficult situation to manage. If we just go kind of back up here, this, um, hmm, no, I can't do another bikini. Let's make this a bit more of a sort of sports top instead, something like that. But basically, when you've got boobs that are still completely natural and they're very fleshy, they're just all over the boat, okay? They are a real situation to have to take care of. So bear that in mind with your characters. Don't just be drawing massive weird circles it won't look right and it will show that although it doesn't really matter it will show that you've got very little real life experience of understanding boobs <laughs> unless you're a girl of which course you've kind of got a natural advantage um but you've got to get an eye for all this stuff appreciate some of you guys are younger and uh if you don't want to draw boobs don't focus on other stuff um that's absolutely fine but if you're reaching a point where you want to draw every part of um, a girl and be able to uh, draw any kind of character not just girls in any kind of situation and build up your experience then make sure you don't neglect things like this otherwise it will show when you get around to it okay it's going to be a slightly better top I'll barely improve the situation at all and then top's going to just pull up here it's going to match the line of the arm and then in terms of the arm this is actually going to right down here it's going to be covered up by the top there because the boobs are slipping around they are trouble to deal with well, I hope I've got that point across enough as in big boobs are trouble and girls with big boobs are natural troublemakers have I said that nah I'm just uh, generalizing so even here not going to be fully contained this one in fact is going to kind of come a little bit over here so I'm going to have to rotate this to get this curved looking a bit smoother like so. That's the kind of situation you're going to be dealing with from time to time. Okay, let's just get that arm over there. Lovely. And we'll make sure that that's a hand later when we actually draw it in properly. Sweet. Let's get a little bit of elbow like such. And a little bit of shoulder up here. Is that all still on camera? Yes, just about. It's all in focus. Uh, just about. Let's Press this little focus button. Lovely jobs. Okay, so we're almost there, guys. We're covering how to look from the side, how they're going to be cut into material when material tightens them in, how they're going to be when they're sort of a bit more free and on their own, and the characteristics they have, how they're sort of escaping all over the place, and they're difficult to manage and handle. And now we just need to... What else have we done? I'm trying to think back to the other tutorials and the positions that I've drawn the previous characters in. Um, 
yeah, lying down. Again, the theme of this whole how to draw boobs tutorial is that drawing boobs on these poor girls is a nightmare for them. So, we're going to have a girl not flat on her back, but let's say leaning back or something. And then we're going to just talk about how you kind of have to keep all these things in check. So, we can have a character here, but maybe the bottom of her face is going to be um, hidden by boobage. So, this is going to be a tough way to think about it so if the chest is here and then rib cage like so and again i'll just reiterate if you've not drawn my drawn if you've not seen some of my other tutorials like how to draw a whole basic character from basic shape or how to draw torsos you do need to watch that um, in order to kind of get a really good feeling of what we're trying to do here it will be a massive help okay so yeah line down a bit let's say this is the center line here's the tummy going off here, good. Um, then in this situation, let's say the character is just trying to keep the whole package together. So it's got to be pushing the boobs together. And because they're silly, silly large, it means you've got something going on that's like this. Let's get rougher lips going on. And something kind of like this. Oh no. <laughs> I've just. <laughs> Um, I've just realised what this might look like I'm drawing, um, and that was not my intention. Oh, it's too late now. Oh, man. Uh, but basically what I'm, what I'm trying to say here is that if a character lies down, then everything goes with gravity. Really large boob characters, their boobs will literally just go sideways off their chest. It happens. Get over it. And what I'm trying to express is that because they're a nightmare to deal with, characters kind of have to hold these things up, keep things together tuck their arms in so it all traps the boob or um, hold the boobs up. What I've realised the second I started drawing this shape and now immediately regret doing is that it looks like this character is um, in a position which might be used to give another character a treat. That's all I'm going to say on this topic. Oh my god, this is safe for all the family. This is another thing that I've been mentioning in my Draw of Mikey series. Oh, and yeah, if you guys aren't aware of it, um, I'll put a link like on the screen later and uh, it'll all be in the description. But I've got another series now called Draw of Mikey, which is not as professional as this, although this clearly isn't professional at all, but it's really casual and we'll talk about anything um, and draw whatever the hell I want to draw. Like, it really doesn't matter. And um, it's a bit complementary to these tutorials as well. So we'll be... Um, We'll probably talk about large boob physics a little bit more in there, just so we've got more examples um, under our uh, wing, so to speak. And uh, in there, yeah, I might casually just go, oh, that's a bit naughty. In this one, I've accidentally turned this safe for family how to draw tutorial into hmm, how to draw specific scenes for very particular types of manga and comics. I did not mean to do that. Yeah, let's get some good features on this character as well. We'll have some eyeballs and stuff and ting and she's literally going to be looking down going oh my god my boobs are so difficult to manage why have i been drawn with such absurdly large boobs don't you know that you need to develop a character through their personality and give them challenges and issues that they have to resolve you can't just draw comics all day long by drawing really big circles and remember guys and girls that's all they are i'm just drawing really big circles here so you're the ones who are um, placing value and worth and ideas and feelings behind them uh, it's literally just lines on a page, so get over yourself. Let's get that one in. I mean, don't get me wrong, these are lovely lines on a page. If ever I've drawn a line on a page where it's going to get someone's attention, it's going to be something like this. But really, all the um, worth, value, undertones, um, and feelings about it, that's all in your head, believe it or not. These are just marks on a page. But you can also say that about words when you read a book. Um, you might be looking at letters, but really you're just looking at ink on a page. Ink that happens to be in a particular shape, letters, that perhaps it be in a particular format, words, which happen to have a meaning to you in your brain as language. Um, but we really do live in an incredible age, everybody, which is good. Let's just get that in your... Made arm a bit more manageable for later. Up on this arm here, and round there as well. 
so again we've got a character whose face is being smothered by the boobs and that's almost a very artistic symbolic way of saying you're detracting from the person by over sexualizing the chest um, and on this side the hand really needs to be shown to press in so in this inside edge of a hand much like we've been talking about here and around here it's going to just bulge over the edge of the hand the hand's kind of sinking in to the mass of the flesh a little bit and let's just bring this round maybe a bit deep around here something like that will tidy this curve up and then the hands coming off there as it's pushing in a little mark up here the knuckle lines are around about this area which means all of this is finger so really rough fingers that I'm just putting in for this character as well something like that something like that have a finger like this and one like that as well and then maybe a thumb just sticking up out the side like that and then same around here because it's pushing in here there's no pressure coming in from this side so that's where a lot of the boob mass would then escape to so it's going to kind of come up around here be a bit of a curve there maybe and again just it'll be causing trouble all up around this side as well um, I guess center line of this sort of stuff because it's being pushed together is going to be fairly parallel in this instance so X marks a spot where perhaps your nipples might be somewhere like that <laughs> normally and I've covered this before as well, is that when you've got characters um, with large boobs, again, I recommend start from a point where their spine would be. If you can imagine the spine of this character right down the back, to understand where the nipples are, um, it's going to be a line that comes from the spine and then comes straight out through the middle mass of the boob from here through the middle mass area and then out and that helps you understand where the nipples are if you draw them too close in together they look horrible and weird and fake and if you draw them too far out it's the same thing again and when you're looking at a character head on um, a useful guide as well is that and it's oh, I've got no examples where it's perfectly head on here um, where it's not even but a useful guide as a general rule is that if you start at a point where the collarbones meet right at the bottom of the neck then the distance between say one nipple to here these two points should be the same here obviously not in these boobs because they're being moved around but just imagine what i'm going with this should be the same distance as well and it should be an equidistant triangle really roughly as a starting guide so then the distance here should be equal as well and then around here you've got a triangle where you know airplanes go missing and stuff like that so that's always a bit of a helpful indicator if you're having trouble working out kind of naturally where a nipple's supposed to be pointing and facing on a natural boob that's gonna help you guys out no end how long is this tutorial now oh my god it's really incredibly long so let's just come back here and quickly sharpen up these lines a little bit we're gonna bulge around here just made that line a bit darker up there darken up this boob line here and darken up the boob line here bring that all the way around show that that's going to be there and then on this character well i'm gonna let time lapse worry about oh that's a weird cheek and eye balance oh i really hate that character already let time lapse worry about all the details there and on this weird profile that i kind of didn't think through something like that something like that something like that there with of course the arm that goes from here to here elbow joints about there triceps up to the back of the shoulder and the back round here lovely hope it gets the point across so there we've got it so far everybody um some boobs of different degrees and designs on the extra large boob tutorial you guys asked for it obviously um all of these tutorials i do are based on your suggestions there's a few that i know we have to do whether you suggest them or not um but i'm obviously reading all of your comments i mean you know that i answer all of them even if it takes me freaking ages um 
so yeah we've covered the kind of physics nature the awkwardness there are of really massive boobs um don't over sexualize them if you can avoid it on your characters because you're gonna miss out on actual character development if you're getting into manga writing and this is only stuff i'm thinking about a lot more at the moment because i'm thinking about maybe the manga that i'm kind of working on kind of writing all the time thinking of actually making a series about that as well in the future and um, where we might cover the whole process from start to finish but as ever you do need to learn to draw them if you're drawing a female character one of the most graphic elements in a cartoon female character or an anime girl um, in many elements is going to be things like amazing hair really strong eyes and the boobs it gets attention you can't deny that so you need to learn to draw it properly um so yeah we will slip off into time lapses ever before i do i don't know if i'm going to use the cards um thing on here but maybe i'll try to remember um you might see now that uh on screen somewhere is a card that indicates where i've got other tutorials or something like that um a card ah uh, i don't know i'm making these noises to indicate that i should definitely do it in editing but it's going to hopefully link to the draw of mikey series or it'll all be in the description below expand that box we've got loads of stuff where you can join in and i'll see you guys shortly at the end after i turn these random boobs into actual people <laughs> And welcome back, everybody. There we have it. So, firstly, uh, I really got into uh, turning needs into characters, oddly enough. Um, that time lapse took way longer than I planned it to. It's actually, it's not dark yet, but it's starting to get dark outside. Being a Saturday um, in winter, it means that I need to go to the pub soon and see my friends before I upload this video for you guys. Um, but basically... Um, I had to be uh, inventive as to how I was going to cover up all the nipples. So on this character, once I filled in um, a character onto the framework we drew, I just gave that sort of uh, tape kind of um, X marks the spot thing. And then bikini was obvious here. Turn this into a, kind of, is it a tankini or a sports top. And then I panicked here because I was like, oh my God, it's not the right kind of boob shape to put a bikini or a top on. How am I going to cover the nipples here? And then I thought, I know, I'll put loads of hair on because I was... Um, thinking about what to do for next sexy anime Saturday. And spoiler alert, I was considering doing, um, oh God, what's her name? The girl from One Punch Man. Because if you guys uh, follow the uh, Draw of Mikey series, and I'll put a link up there and it's in the uh, description below, do come along and watch that because it's like a casual hangout um, where we will draw anything in a sketchbook. Um, but more importantly, it's a great opportunity. If you guys have got any questions about what we've covered in this tutorial so far, oh man, <laughs> so poorly. Oh, if you've got any questions, put them in the comments below. And the whole point of a Draw with Mikey series, which will be out on Wednesday, um, is I'll get to answer these comments really directly. Maybe there's some topics that still aren't covered over the free boobs tutorials, and I can address them there. If it's a suggestion about what to do next for a tutorial, that will be its own tutorial, obviously. Do let me know what you guys want to see next. Um, but uh, a formal invite, I guess. Come along to the Draw with Mikey stuff. It's really casual. There's lots of spoilers, and I do swear a lot more than I do in these tutorials. So I do apologise for that. I don't do it on purpose. It's just who I am. 
Um, but other than that, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys followed along at home. I really hope you found it useful. And um, I've just got to say, you know, the usual stuff. Come subscribe to me. Bling, there's a subscribe link on screen. Um, feel free to come join me on Patreon. Bling, there's a Patreon link on screen. Um, or I've made it one of those info cards that's up there now or something. I don't know, technology. Um, get in the comments below. Get in the uh, playlist below and there's loads of information about all other tutorials and stuff and thing. But most importantly of all, go and have fantastic lives. I hope you all have a lovely weekend, everybody. And I'll see you guys next time round. Peace and love. Bye bye. <laughs>